guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I recreated this makeup look for you guys. It was the makeup I did on my birthday and I asked if you guys wanted to see a tutorial and majority of you said yes. It's very similar to a lot of looks maybe that you've seen before from me, but that is because these are my absolute favourite looks to do, hence why I did it for my birthday. All products will be listed down below because this is kind of like a chatty tutorial, so I may not be kind of holding everything up so in-depthly like I usually would, so like I said, everything is always listed down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, without further ado, let's begin this makeup tutorial. Okay, so to begin, I am going to just spray my skin with the Toucher dewy skin mist just as like a way of hydrating my skin because sometimes I can never be bothered to you know apply a moisturizer if I'm feeling super lazy and especially if I know I'm going to be applying a lot of makeup and because it was my birthday you know it's going to be a lot of makeup I would need to make sure that my skin is super hydrated and then I just kind of like buff the excess into my skin so it doesn't sit Okay, so moving on to eyebrows. Loads of you asked me about my eyebrows at the moment. And I don't know if it's because I've been doing them differently. I've been kind of putting a lot more time into them. I've been like loving the look of a sculpted out brow at the moment. So even though I do definitely plan to do a really more in-depth eyebrow tutorial, I thought I would include it. I'm going to use our medium dip brow first because I like to do the tail of my eyebrow first. And I'm just taking a Sigma E06 winged liner brush and starting just kind of like halfway across and creating the shape that I want for the tail. Sorry if you can see like a glitter on my face. I just filmed my Halloween tutorial that went up on Tuesday and it just seems to be lingering. I always like to use a dip brow um, towards the end of my brow just because it applies a lot more pigmentation and my brows are naturally short so I need it to kind of look as real as possible. And it doesn't matter so much so if it's not totally tidy underneath because that's why we sculpt them up with concealer. Then I like to take my Brow Wiz in soft brown and kind of run, I like lift up my brow to make the skin kind of tighter and then just run it along underneath, kind of connecting it to where we just was applying the dip brow, feathering them in. You can see I'm just using like really light frequent strokes and I'll just go over the tail as well slightly and then when I get to the front I just kind of mimic the brush hair mo the brush hair the my eyebrow hairs and change my direction to go upwards then I'm taking the Kevin Aquan Skin Enhancer in the shade SX04 and just on a little Morphe M1 Seven zero brush, concentrating that under the arch. And then just dragging it across. And then I actually like to go across the top of them to give some real definition and shape. Then I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eye and get it ready for eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye and everything off camera just because it's easier to just do one on camera. If that makes sense. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just went ahead and primed my eye using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Creme de Nude. I'm not sure if that's only available in the US or like there's just something about that where I feel like it's quite hard to get but it's literally just MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pod so y'all good. Then I'm taking the Morphe 35 palette and I'm taking like this colour and this colour and just kind of dipping my brush in them and just mixing them together as my initial transition shade. Just buffing this back and forth in the crease. This is definitely going to be a look you've seen a hundred times before, but it was my birthday, so I did a classic look that I love. I think the good thing about this is, well, this is what I do when I watch videos. Even if it's a video I feel that person has done so many times before, or they have like a certain style, I just take inspiration from the way that they do it. And then if I want to switch out the colours, or put my own twist on it, then I will. Which is what I hope you guys kind of take from my videos, especially with looks like this, like, yeah, I know it's like a birthday kind of get ready with me type video, and it'll be a look, like I said, that you've seen before, but you don't have to use these colours. 
can just learn from technique. Dipping back into the same palette, I'm taking this warm colour here, just on a slightly smaller brush and just concentrating that in the crease below the, obviously the initial colours that we've just put down to create that gradient. I didn't actually really think I used, I went for quite like a soft or like a minimal amount of colours in the crease just because I didn't want it to be too dramatic because I knew I wanted like a thick liner and it was for the daytime anyway so nothing so grey. Then just going back in with the 224, not, I haven't picked up any additional product, I'm just buffing these two in. Then on an even smaller fluffy brush I'm taking this colour here. Ooh, just to further deepen the crease, just kind of really concentrating this on the outer part of the eye. Circular motions buffing upwards into the previous colours. And then going back in with the 224 and a little bit of the initial transition colour that we used. Just using that to buff everything together. The lid shade again, still using the same palette. I just take this shimmery colour here. Wait, no here and put that all over my lid and this is using a mac oh god 242 like the little gingy brush just kind of patting that on i always kind of drag it down to bring out the most of the pigmentation just kind of taking that almost like a little bit over halfway across the lid and then going back in with the kind of medium sized fluffy brush that had the medium orange colour on just using that not I haven't picked up anything extra just to merge the shimmers with the crease colour then I'm just taking a makeup wipe to clean and create that wing shape like I always do I find this to be the most easiest and effective method Especially when I'm about to do winged liner just because it gives a really good base. And speaking of which, I'm taking the Tarte Tartiest Eyeliner Pen. And I've been absolutely loving this. It's so, 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 so black and so, like, easy to use, as you'll see. And I kind of wanted a thicker wing than I normally do because it's my birthday, so why not? Just starting from the inner corner... That was so easy. I'm obsessed with this and this is so dark as well. Then once you're happy with the thickness across the lid, you can I then do the base line of my liner. And then drag it down. And then just work on it from there. I feel like it's so hard to do liner on camera. Then I always go back in with my wipe and just re sharpen it up. Then I'm just taking a little pencil brush and this kind of darker brown colour here and I'm just going to, with my eye open, look down into a mirror and just define my crease even more and add a bit more depth. And then using my medium fluffy brush, just making sure to diffuse any harsh lines and then a little bit of the shadows kind of transferred onto the eyeliner so just going back over like so 
Then I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and I'm using the Tarte Tarte Tears Mascara as well. And then for lashes, I'm really, really can't remember the style or the, like the exact name. I think it's Winging from Velour Lashes. So they look like this and I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So the glue is just drying but this is what the eyes look like with the lashes on. Obviously we haven't completely finished them yet but now we can move on to the skin. Okay so for the skin I'm just going to go ahead and apply my primer and today we're going to be using the Nivea Post Shave Balm or whatever it's called. Just slap it across your face dear. I'm just going to blend that in and you guys will be shocked, I'm not using my Royal Techniques Multitask brush. I'm using this one from Morphe, which is the G39. Then for foundation, I used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 209. Again, I'm not 100% sure if this is available in the UK yet i really hope it comes to the uk that is for sure but i got this while i was in america i am tanned my face is also pale so if you're thinking oh my god that is so dark you would be correct but it matches my tan and that's the end result that we're going for and i've been really really loving this morphe g36 brush to buff in my foundation I'm obsessed with the finish of this foundation. It's a really gorgeous, subtle glow. It's nothing too oily or anything, so I love it. And it's got a really nice coverage. For concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I've been obsessed with this. It has such an amazing coverage, and I really like the wand applicator. It's super thick. And this is how it kind of, like, the colour balances out on my skin. I apply a slightly darker foundation so it matches my tan, but then um, the concealer I wear is always a lot lighter, and that way when I blend it all out it kind of lightens up my whole skin and it doesn't look so drastic. And then I always take a little brush and use this to get right up close to my eyeliner and really sharpen it out. And to blend that out, I've been really liking the Morphe G40 brush to do that. Sorry about the really dark background. I literally just filmed a Halloween look, but let me know if you guys like it. Then once I've applied all of that, I don't have any more creams to apply to my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that all in place with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Okay, moving on to the rest of the skin, I'm going to take MAC Gimme Sun Bronzer. This has been my favourite bronzer at the moment. I'm just using that to warm up my skin. I have to be quite careful now, my hair's lighter. By the way, thank you so much for all like the lovely comments on my hair. I was really scared at first, I thought, oh my God, it's quite a drastic, well to me it's quite a drastic change, I don't know if um, you guys notice as much, but for me, it was intense, but I'm literally obsessed with it. I'm glad you guys like it too. And then taking my Peaches and Cream Sculpting Powder in light medium on a Morphe G37, I'm just going to throw that across the room. I'm going to use that to lightly define magic balls. Then, because it's your birthday, you can be fancy and use your favourite makeup. I'm taking the, <coughs> the Marc Jacobs blusher in Lines and Last Night. Just kind of... And a big fat smile. And then for my highlight, I'm taking the Ultimate Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and mixing, well, I'm kind of just going to dab my brush in all of them, but mainly it is white sand and like sun ray, but mainly white sand. Yes, Hansi. Yes, 
So that is the skin complete. Just moving back onto the eyes, I'm pretty sure all I did was take my Give Me Sun bronzer on a pencil brush and just smoked out my lower lash line. Sorry if you think the light keeps changing. I'm using natural light and a cloud's just come, therefore... Obsessed with this mascara for lower lashes. I think it really defines them well. And then finally for my lips, obviously, was it going to be a birthday look for me if it wasn't something glossy and nude? And I am just going to take the oak pencil from that, the Elamasca Tease lipstick, which looks like this, and then I top it with the Morphe cream. What is it? Cream lip polish in blush. Recently I've been seeing a lot of comments asking if I've had my lips done and I haven't, I promise. No one will let me. <laughs> but I find Oak Pencil from MAC to be, su ooh, to be such a good pencil if you want to overline your lips. Mm-hmm. Ah! Too much, too much. This is such a me look, I can't even tell you. So this is my finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. It is so, so, so me. Definitely my favorite looks to do, hence why I did it for my birthday. Loads of you guys requested this look, so sorry if you think it's repetitive or you didn't request it and you didn't really want to see it, but loads of you did, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and thank you so, so, so much for all the birthday wishes that you guys gave me the other day. If you didn't know, it was on the 6th of October, so it's not today or anything like that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for support and well wishes made the day so 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 much better for me make sure to make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i've listed all the product details down below as usual yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye